Five deaths from flesh-eating bacteria have been reported by Florida officials in Tampa Bay since January. According to Florida officials, five people have been proven deceased in the Tampa Bay region as a result of a flesh-eating bacteria that is known to lurk near beaches. According to Florida Health, the Vibrio vulnificus bacterium's natural habitat is in warm, brackish seawater because it requires salt to live. The bacteria typically grow more quickly in warmer months. Despite the rarity of infections, health experts advise against swimming if you have any open wounds, cuts, or scratches. There were been five documented cases of fatal bacterial infections this year, with two deaths occurring in Hillsborough County and one each in Pasco, Polk, and Sarasota counties. Since January, there have been 26 cases of Vibrio vulnificus infections in Florida, according to authorities. There were a total of 74 cases and 17 fatalities in 2022. That year's figures were unusually high because Hurricane Ian released sewage into the ocean, which raised the number of germs. The necrotizing fasciitis, a serious illness in which the tissue surrounding an open incision dies, is caused by certain Vibrio vulnificus infections, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC. More than one kind of bacterium can cause necrotizing fasciitis. Skin infections brought on by Vibrio vulnificus can result in ulceration and skin disintegration. Infections caused by Vibrio vulnificus can affect anybody, but those with compromised immune systems may experience more severe symptoms. The bacterium can enter the circulation and result in a severe sickness that is potentially fatal and has symptoms including fever, chills, low blood pressure, and blistering skin sores. It has the potential to result in serious sickness or death. According to the CDC, one in five victims passes away within a day or two after becoming ill sometimes. People who consume raw or undercooked oysters and shellfish run the risk of contracting the illness Vibrio vulnificus. People who have symptoms should seek medical assistance right once even though it cannot be passed from person to person. Last week, the New York State Health Department released guidance for residents to identify Vibrio vulnificus infections after the bacterium claimed the lives of one New York resident and two Connecticut residents over the summer. Governor Kathy Hochul referred to the flesh-eating bacteria as extraordinarily dangerous and advised her residents to take preventative measures.